Well, hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. How are you doing? Hope you're uh, starting to get out and um, experience some Goodwills and thrift stores and garage sales if they're going on. Um, hope you're staying healthy and well in this time. Uh, I know I'm in Denver, so things are slowly opening back up. I am actually right now outside of a Goodwill. It's been three months since I have gone to a thrift store at all. Um, about three or four weeks before all this coronavirus stuff hit, I stopped going to thrift stores and purchasing things because we were packing up our house, getting ready to move, and I was trying to get rid of a bunch of inventory. Uh, we're still, you know, COVID kind of um, slowed some things down on the housing front, but we are under contract now, so we will be moving at the end of June. Um, and I'm still continuing to um, stay in reduce mode as far as reduction of inventory. But I've been away from this game for so long as far as sourcing that I am so hungry to go out and find stuff to bring back home and sell online. So here I am at Goodwill. I am uh, going to go in and just take a look. This is the first time in three months that I've been able to go to a thrift store. And really, honestly, um, because I still am trying to reduce my inventory, I'm only going to purchase things that will sell for $35 or more after a best offer is accepted. So I'm looking for items that I'm going to list in the $40 to $50 range or higher uh, that will sell for that amount of money. So more than likely, the store I'm at now, I find a lot of good pairs of shoes. So I'll probably be looking at shoes. Um, probably not a lot of pants and shirts unless I find some really rare brands. But I'm going to go in here and see what I can find and then let you know um, what I found at this Goodwill and what I think I should get for it. And as always, especially now, wear a mask. All right, everyone, I am back home at my house. I was going to do all this in the car, but it was, it's just so hot today. It's like 90 degrees and uh, there's just not a lot of space in my car to like put the camera down and show everyone what I got, show you what I got. So um, I got six items. I spent, uh, let's see here, I've got the receipt in my pocket. I spent a total of $58.11. So an average of what, uh, nine something a piece. Yeah, it's about, right, nine fifty a piece or so. A little high, but again, as I said in the car, I was really looking for items that were gonna sell for a minimum of $35 and up from there. Funny thing is, is in the car, I said I'd probably end up getting a lot of shoes. Well, I, I went to one Goodwill that I typically find really um, great pairs of shoes at, and they actually weren't open, so I thought they were open, but they weren't. There was a guy like going in and out of the store. Um, that was obviously a worker or a manager or something. I asked him if he knew of any Goodwills that were open close by and there was a one about 15 minutes away. So I got back in the car, drove to this Goodwill that I wasn't as familiar with. But surprisingly, like I said, I thought I would be getting a lot of pairs of shoes that would sell for 35 to 40 and out of the six that I got, um, none of them were shoes. So they just didn't have a great selection of shoes. So I got these six, um, six items, four pairs of pants or jeans and then two um, looks like jackets. Um, it is summer. They may take a little while to sell, but, uh, you know, still good items. I just want to do a quick shout out before I get into these to my friend, Chris Hag. He's a friend here in Denver and, uh, he started his reselling business and I've kind of coached him on the way. And, um, over the last year and a half, we go back and forth every day on just like things we're finding and sales that we have. And it's just been kind of a fun camaraderie as we are growing our businesses together. Um, he was at this Goodwill in Lakeside, um, I believe three days ago. This was only my second time there, and so um, he probably cleared it out and got a bunch of really good stuff there. And uh, yeah, I got what's left, a few things, but um, what's up, Chris? And uh, with that, I'll go ahead and get started on item number one. This item, you can see um, on the tag there, paid $8.99. At this Goodwill, everything was full price. So because they just opened, they didn't have any items discounted like they normally do. So everything was full price. This brand is Maybe, tagged there on the back. Maybe jeans and um, the mat, relax straight, I believe is what it says. Let's see if it'll zoom in. So these uh, jeans are excellent condition, almost look brand new. Great, um, great color and great wash. 
So for these, I looked them up. I was a little hesitant, but they will get me a minimum of 35 to 45, somewhere in there for Maybe jeans. I, I've probably sold three pairs of Maybe jeans and uh, they always go for 30s and 40s. This next pair of um, jeans were $7.99. There's the tag on that one. It's waiting for my face to get out of the way so it'll zoom in. And uh, you can normally tell this brand, they've got like a little stitching and design tag on the um, pocket there, but diesel. The only thing with these are these are really small, so they're size 30 by 30, and they look really small, so they may take a little while to sell, but diesel safado, I think is how you pronounce that. I've actually sold a pair of jeans like this in the past. And uh, Diesel always brings me around $50 for a pair of jeans. I definitely have gotten 60 or 70, so I think because these are smaller, probably closer on the $50 range, but for, what was it, eight bucks? Yeah, $7.99, um, I should fetch $50 for those. This next pair of pants were new with tags, and they're Brooks Brothers, 346 uh, Clark, like dress pants, khaki pants, but they're black, that I paid $6.99. And the only thing with these, um, the downside is they're, they've got like fuzz all over them and they've got like sticker residue here on the back. So I will take some time cleaning these up, make sure I get all that fuzz off. And then um, once I list them, I should get 35 to $40 for these pants. Last pair of pants that I found at this Goodwill were a brand that I love. You probably heard me talk about these a lot. Cool, K-U-H-L. I don't know why, I always do that. I always spell it out like like you guys probably already know what cool is. But for some reason, I think just because when you hear the brand cool, you want to think C-O-O-L. But for some reason, I don't know why, every time I pronounce it, I feel like I've got to spell it. Maybe it's just um, more advertising for that brand. But paid $7.99 for these. There's the tag. And these are uh, more... Cool typically is like a hiking pant. These are more of like a work wear jeans, so they're not really hiking because they're cotton. Yeah, 99% cotton, 1% lycra. They're size 40 by 34. Cool is a brand that always brings in 35 to $40 and up from there. So I, I believe that I'll get $40 for these pair of jeans in great condition. All right, that was the last pair of pants that I found. I told you I found like two jackets. This is like a, a shirt jacket. It's a heavy um, insulated jacket. And the brand is Duluth. And you're probably familiar with Duluth, but there's the tag. So I paid $10.99 for this shirt jacket. A little high. Um, like I said at the beginning, I, I average $9.50 on all these items. But if this were a shirt, I would not have paid that much to pick it up. I actually passed on a Duluth cotton flannel that was, I think, $8.99 just because I didn't think I would get $35 for it. Um, and especially because it's summer, if it were winter, I probably would have maybe taken a chance on it. But this shirt jacket um, should fetch me, I'd say 40 to $50 in that range. It is excellent condition, it's a size large. And so yeah, happy to find that. La the last item that I found at this store was a North Face uh, Apex soft shell jacket. Uh, the thing with these North Face Apex, it's always got Apex on the side of the, uh, at the bottom of the sleeve here. Let's see, I paid $10.99 for this as well, but that was an easy decision for me. It's great condition, I mean, outdoor jacket, not a lot of like marks or anything like that that can't be cleaned off. But soft shell jacket Apex, I actually sold one of these probably three or four months ago when it was colder for $50 and I sold it within a day of listing. So to take something that's $11 to purchase, to turn it into five times that and get 50 to 60 bucks is what I'm aiming for on this. And it's a great color. Red and gray is a great color that um, people will want. So between those um, five, sorry, six items, like I said I, on the receipt, I paid $58 at the store, I believe I should get two, I think it was 235. 235 are those six items, so you know, you subtract out the almost $60. Um, that leaves me with about 170, and then you take out like shipping and eBay fees and promoted listings and things like that. Um, so that 170 then becomes like 125 to 130 
on six items that I found in probably 30 minutes or less. Now obviously that doesn't include like the 30 minutes I spent driving and it won't include the, um, you know, let's say the hour that's gonna take me to photo, uh, photograph those six items and list them. But if you take, let's say it takes an hour to take all the pics and list, it took an hour to drive there, pick those items up and then come back. And then it takes another, let's say, you know, 15 minutes to ship. We're looking at two to two and a half hours for $130 roughly net profit. I would say that's pretty good, 60 to, 60 to $70 an hour. So very pleased with those six purchases and um, can't wait for them to sell. Anyways, let's go ahead and end this short video here. Thank you guys for tuning in and as always, happy selling and until next time, we'll see you later, bye.